eyes are the first objects we see in a person or an animal. Pretty big clear eyes are attractive. Eyes and a chrysanthemum haircut face make the Shih Tzu the top three small dog breeds as pets in Singapore. From the Pyo Vet case files over the past 40 years, the Shih Tzu breed has the most incidence of ocular dermoid. Dermoids are non-cancerous masses with skin, hairs and fat. They can be found in people as well as dogs and cats. There are two types. There are the limbodermoid being located in the limbus, sclera and corneal junction, and the lipodermoid which is seated in the temporal area where the eyelids meet in the corner towards the ear lateral canthus. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by Topayo Vets. Singapore is a city-state with more than 80% of the residents living in apartments. Small dog breeds such as Shih Tzu are most popular as apartment pets. The Shih Tzus appear to be the breed that is most affected by ocular dermoids in cases seen at Topayo Vets. Electrosurgery excision of an ocular dermoid in dog. Dr. Sing Kong Yuan, Tupai Vets. I do not know whether other use electrosurgery to remove ocular dermoids from the cornea. This video shows the electrosurgical procedure to excise the limbo dermoid using electricity. Surgical procedures are as follows. This is a normal left eye of the Shizu. It has no dermoids. A limbal dermoid is at the junction of the sclera and the cornea as in this case on the right eye. Sedation is by IV ketamine and ketamine general anesthesia using isofluorine gas. The dermoid is excised using electricity. As seen in the video, three quarter of the dermoid has been excised. The dermoid inside the cornea is being excised. More dermoid is excised using the circular loop. Be careful not to enter the eye causing rupture of the globe. No more excision after over 90% of the dermoid has been cut out. Care must be taken not to enter the eye when excising the dermoid. In this case, the site where the dermoid lay was not covered by a piece of transplanted cornea. A third eyelid flap for 14 days facilitates healing of the exposed cornea epithelium. Antibiotic eye drops are applied daily for 14 days. An Elizabeth collar for 14 days prevents scratching of the eye. In young puppies and kittens of less than 2 months, anti-inflammatory eye drops must not be used to prevent swelling and scarring. According to Dr. Sing Kong Yuan, the owner did not permit me to ward the patient for 14 days after surgery. He wanted the dog back by day 4. So, I took out the eyelid stitches sewing the eyelids together to facilitate corneal healing on day 4 instead of day 14. On day 9 after surgery, I followed up and saw the corneal healing taking place. As to whether there will be corneal scarring later, I was unable to follow up. I electro-excised over 90% of the dermoid but not 100% as I do not want to risk the corneal laceration rupturing the globe. Superficial correctotomy using surgical blade number 11 is the other option to exercise the limbo dermoid. A stay suture to elevate the eyeball can be placed on the contradiva at the medial canthus area for easier surgery. For more information, please visit our website or call in to our clinic. And for more videos, please subscribe and give our video a thumbs up.